Coronavirus cases in Iowa are climbing fast. The Iowa Department of Public Health released its weekly data update this afternoon. There were 6,100 more COVID-19 cases in the past week. That averages out to around 875 new cases every day. New cases of coronavirus have been rising steadily for more than a month now. Here's a graph going back to early July. On July 5th, there were 102 cases. Compare that to nearly 1,000 positive tests on Monday. And both the 7-day and 14-day COVID positivity rate is up from where it was just a week ago. We know hospitalizations are rising too. We'll get the latest numbers on that tomorrow. New at 6, KCCI's Marcus McIntosh learned about the strain metro area hospitals are facing right now. Steve Aurea, we spoke with the medical director of infection prevention at Mercy One Des Moines and Mercy One West Des Moines. Dr. Ravi from Murray has been watching the numbers when it comes to COVID positive cases and those hospitalized with COVID and the Delta variant. He says the high level of community transmission is concerning and it is what he is seeing in the hospital. Dr. Vermurray says not only are COVID cases on the rise, but they often get calls from hospitals in other states looking for beds for their critical care patients. And when you add a health care worker shortage to the mix, it makes things even more difficult at Mercy One. Uh, we are uh, scrambling to meet the needs of our patient population. Uh, so far, we've been able to um, you know, uh, put together care teams to take care of the people that are coming in. But, um, you know, we, we are, uh, you know, somewhat stretched, so we, we can't take too much more stress. Dr. Vermurray says for the time being, they are, they are okay, rather, but there is concern what could happen in the weeks ahead and how it will affect the hospital and staff. Last week, Iowa hospitalizations jumped 66% from the week before. Rhea?